Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to export a single layer from a composition using GIMP. I'm using GIMP version 2.10.30 which is the latest version of GIMP at the time of this tutorial. Before I get into that guys, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. And you can get more by becoming a DMD Premium member and I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. I do have a help article version of this tutorial up on daviesmediadesign.com. It's available in 30 plus languages, so definitely check that out. So here is the composition I'll be using for today's tutorial. This is a .xef image. You can see that up here with the file extension. That simply means that this image is in GIMP's native .xef file format, which means it does contain layers, it supports layers. So over here in the layers panel, you can see I have a bunch of layers available here. So let's say I wanted to isolate and export a single layer. So for example, this layer right here of the woman. There are two methods that I can do to achieve this. I will cover both of them in this tutorial. So the first method, super simple, you'll come over here to the show hide icon. So this one here, it allows you to show and hide layers. You're going to shift click on that show hide icon and that's going to toggle all the other show hide icons off. So as you can see, all the other layers are hidden. So one main thing about this method is that your image is still gonna be, or your layer is still going to be the same size as the entire composition size. So if I were to export this as is right now, the layer size is gonna be this 1920 by 1080, as you can see up top. I will show you how to fix this in the next method, but I'm gonna to go to File, Export As, and now I can export this single layer. And because there's no background here, I can save this with a file format that supports having a transparency as a background. So for example, .png. If I save it as a .jpeg, it'll automatically add a background to this. I believe it's gonna use the current background color over here, which is white. But I can click on the select file type by extension and scroll through the various file types to choose one that I wanna use. So let's just rename this isolated female model. And I'll come over here and hit export. And hit export again. I'm just gonna use the default options there for saving this. All right, so that's the first method. If I come over here and shift click on the eye icon, it's going to show all the other layers again. So let's go through the second method. I'm going to click on this photo here of the male model. So for this method, I can drag and drop my layer over here over the tools. It can pretty much be anywhere over the toolbox here in GIMP. I have my toolbox set to a single column here. So I'm just going to release and that is going to open up my layer as a separate composition now. You're gonna see that my layer mask here that was on my male model is going to remain intact. So if I come over here, control click on the layer mask, this is actually the original image. So I could export this image like that, but I'm gonna control click on this again to enable the layer mask once again so we can see what it's masking out. I do have an entire tutorial on layers and layer masks. If you wanna learn more about how layer masks work, but let's say, as I mentioned in the first method, that I wanted to crop out all this excess transparency. The easiest way to do that is to just go to Image, Crop to Content, and that's gonna crop everything down until the program recognizes the first pixel on the layer. So here you can see it's cropping it down to his arms and then down here as well. And there's some hair sticking out up here, so it did sort of crop it a little above the hairline there. But you can see when I did that, it kept the layer mask intact there, so this is still non-destructive, meaning I can still, for example, control click and disable the layer mask and see the original layer there, so control click. So now I can export this by going to File, Export, or Export As. And once again, I can name this and I can choose a file type. So this time let's go with male model isolated layer. And maybe we'll choose a different format. Let's go WebP. And just hit export. And now if I go to file, open recent, I can open up that WebP file that I just saved. And then file, open recent and here is the first one we created. 
All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out the links to any of my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.